The story is all about that man, Gareth Bale, and his breeze. Yeah, 2 1 it finishes, and they will face the winners of the Scotland Ukraine game, which won't be played until June. Uh, but as for Gareth Bale, a lot of talk about him, especially after such a glowing oh. performance today. <laughs> after this win, he said, I'll run into the ground for this country. Obviously, so synonymous with Wales, and it means so much to him. But uh, when it comes to Real Madrid, not quite the same. These are competitive matches with the two teams that he plays for, with Wales. Four games, five goals and one assist. With Real Madrid, five games, one goal and zero assists. There is definitely a different feeling from this man when he plays for both of these sides, Don. It's fair to say, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, the Real Madrid fans must be absolutely watching on tonight, going absolutely bonkers after the El Clasico mauling the other day. And then they just kick back and they watch the results come in and they go, Bale scored two again for Wales. I mean, he just turns it on, doesn't he? He's got something inside him, Kay, where it's all about Wales for him now. He wants to produce, he wants to be a legend. He is a legend, he's scoring goals. I, that, that relationship between Real Madrid is fractured. It'll never be repaired, ever, ever. Um, but listen, I mean, he scores two goals tonight and he takes them one step closer. I mean, amazing job he's done. Yeah, amazing job he's done. It's, it's, it is strange to see, though, when you see it, and it doesn't come as any surprise anymore with what we see at Real Madrid, but not well enough to play in El Clasico but well enough to play in this game for Wales. And, and not just play, but, but produce that kind of a performance. And, and it really is astounding to see. I, I'm not sure how you even begin to explain it. Listen, we, we've spoken time and time again about players and, and their affiliations or how strongly they feel between club and country. You know how I feel about, uh, about that myself. And, and Gareth Bale, it's, I mean, it's even more extreme. Given how... Um, not just ineffective, but, but how he, he doesn't seem to even want to step up to be counted for Real Madrid. Yet whenever Wales calls, whenever he pulls on that, that well shirt, it is a totally different player. Somebody who steps up to whatever is asked of him and, and produces performances like that. And, and again, those two goals, regardless of who we're talking about, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the stage, are both of them absolutely world class and how how do you explain gareth bale on on a thursday when he is just totally absent on on the sunday for real madrid and and has as he has been all season long i'm i'm, I'm not sure how to even begin yeah uh, frank have you ever seen such a difference in a, a difference in a player for their national side and for their club side like gareth bale I never seen that, and it's amazing to see the the, the difference of uh, body language that we can see with him. Where he seems to be the worst player in the world when he plays for Real Madrid, and uh, being the one of the best player in the world when he plays for Wales. And we have to read what he want to say every time he scores. You know, he show the shirt, he show the badge of the of Wales, and. Uh, and I feel, and I, when I what I read is, I feel that he's angry. He's angry at Real Madrid. I don't know if Real Madrid can, uh, can be responsible for, for what happened to, uh, to Gareth Bell when he signed there and uh, uh, the way that he played. But he seems to be angry. And every time he, he plays, he wants to show to Real Madrid that they're wrong. And uh, every time he scores, he wants to show that Wales is more important than Real Madrid. It, it's sad in a way because we all know that Gareth Bell is a fantastic player. And he's only due to himself to change that. So I think the best for him is to leave Real Madrid as soon as possible, play for a bi another big club, show that he he's still Gareth Bale, because we all know that it's possible because we see the performances he can have for his country. So it's time for him to go back to normality, meaning playing for a good club, but at his best and showing the same with his uh, country. But, but to Frank's point, I don't think Gareth Bale was that great for Spurs. He gets an opportunity to go back to his former club. He, he was good. He, he was better than he has been for Real Madrid. But I, I still not even close to what you see of him as a Welsh player. So it's who, who exactly is he angry with here? Because when he's given an opportunity to show, him, show his stuff week in, week out, at club level, again, he was good. He was better. But I don't think he was anything like you'd expect of Gareth Bale. Uh, Gab, you know Ancelotti. What do you think he's thinking watching those goals from Gareth Bale and that performance tonight? 
Yeah, I suspect Ancelotti maybe knows a little bit more about what's going on and and, and Gareth Bale than than, than we do. But um, I, what I wonder, and what I would love to hear, you've got ex pros there with you, people who played at the highest level. All this stuff about how uh, you know when a player comes back and hasn't played in a while and it's his first game back, we're all like, well, he's not match fit. We can give him a run out, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Is it all just nonsense? Because Gareth Bale doesn't play. And yet he comes back, plays for Wales, and he looks like he's 100% fit and he's, he's a difference maker straight away. Uh, is Gareth Bale just some like freak of nature and normal rules don't apply to him? Please educate me. <laughs> Tell us, Don. No, I, well, I think what it is, I mean, I, I can't get into the mind of Gareth Bale because I, I always wanted to play every single minute for my club and my country. I, I would never, ever have the divide where I think with Gareth Bale, I think Robert Page looks after him a lot more. And I'm not saying that Real Madrid don't look after him. I think what's happening with Real Madrid, from what I hear inside Tottenham when he was at Tottenham and Real Madrid, is he doesn't train a lot. So when he's at Real Madrid and he doesn't train that hard from a Monday to a match day, how can then Ancelotti look at him when he hasn't been training that hard, i.e. on the grass, and he thinks, well, I can't pick him because he's, he's not fit. So I think when he's away with Wales, and I think what happened when he was at Tottenham, he was doing a lot of work sort of in the gym, on the bike, swimming pools, this, that and the other, where managers, especially like Robert Page, who's a friend of his, and he can look after him a little bit more and he knows how important he is to Wales. Gareth Bale to Real Madrid is not that important, so he doesn't feel loved. So he will not go in the grass and train with an injury, where when he's playing for Wales, Robert Page can stick him in the gym, he can look after himself, and then he can say, right, you get yourself ready for Austria. Sure. I just need you for that hour. That's all I need you for. And then tomorrow, he'll be sore. He'll be sore the day after. But when you play for a club like Real Madrid, you can't be on a bike five days of the week and then expect to play for Real Madrid. It's just not going to work. It's not going to happen. So I think that's where the difference is. Would you agree with that, Frank? Yeah, that's, that's the truth, I think. I think you need... And again, we have to talk about consistency. Consistency in your hard work, you know, uh, in, a, in a weekly basis where you have to work on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to make sure you're going to be ready for Saturday. And uh, it seems to be not the case for, for, for Gareth Bale. And it's true that when you go with the national team, you can pretend for an hour and, uh, and tw do, do it twice for the national team and go back to your club and, uh, and recover from there. Um, that's not the, the way you have to think your career, but it's possible and it works for him, uh, but it works, but in a, in a wrong way, because we want to see, we expect more for a player, from a player like that. So it's, again, for me, it's sad because when he's going to go and look back, you know, to his career, he's going to, he's going to think that he missed something. And I can tell him right now, he already missed a lot. Well, he's got a few months on the bike right now because the, uh, the final that they'll be playing won't be until the summer because then is when Scotland will play Ukraine. That game understandably postponed and then the final will be whoever wins that one. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.